the St. John of Damascus Orthodox Educational Initiative presents the Damascene Podcast. St. Athanasius the Great, the letter to Marcellinus, recording four. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. In one of our other talks on the philosophical chapters of St. John of Damascus, we emphasized how observation of the natural world may lead to our edification in Christ. With that in mind, we read the following in section 3 of St. Athanasius's letter. He writes, quote, It, that is, the Psalter, sings the events of Genesis in Psalm 18. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the firmament proclaims the works of his hands. And in Psalm 23, The earth is the Lord's, and the fullness thereof, the world and all that dwell therein. He has founded it upon the seas. End quote. In this way, the psalmist calls to mind God's creation. We read in Genesis, In the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. In St. Basil's Hexameron, his treatise on the six days of creation, St. Basil comments on the deep meaning of those three simple words, In the beginning. One of the fundamental differences between orthodoxy and paganism is their respective views of creation. Taking human pride in the worship of the material world as his basis, the pagan thinks the universe has existed forever. Taking the true worship of the true God as its basis, as the prophet Moses says, in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. For the church, then, the universe has not existed forever. The only thing that has always existed is is God himself. Think back to those quiet moments we sometimes find, at least when we allow them to happen. In those quiet moments, if we pay attention, and if we find ourselves outside, we will notice the very thing that David points out, that the heavens declare the glory of God and the firmament proclaims the work of his hands. Here it is essential to say something about how we spend our time. Human beings were not made to be inside all the time, chained to something electronic, whether a huge television, the computer, or a phone. Human beings were created and put in the garden so that by means of the contemplation of God's creation, we may glorify our Creator. To be sure, we sometimes need to make use of such things. But if we are honest with ourselves, it needn't be all the time. So after you listen to this, Get up, make your cross, take your wife or your husband or your children or your dog and go outside. If you're by yourself, take the saints for your companions. Walk with your prayer rope. rope. Look, move, pray, be quiet. In this way, we may come to know the meaning and force of David's words, the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof, the world and all that dwell therein. Amen. Amen.